The Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, stressed that climate change is a critical global challenge and it's positive to see that it is receiving attention on the global agenda, including Ghana. Climate change has the potential to affect countries around the world, regardless of their level of development, and its impact can be severe in terms of extreme weather events, rising sea levels, food security, and more. Promising to prioritize climate change in his political manifesto, Vice President Mohamed Obamia indicated this can be a significant step in recognizing the importance of climate action and sustainability. It is possible. Let us leave a legacy of a thriving, sustainable, and vibrant blue economy for generations to come. For all these reasons, the MPP manifesto and the my leadership will have a strong, inclusive blue economy component because I believe in, in the great, because I believe in the great potential that an inclusive, sustainable blue economy can contribute significantly to the creation of jobs, food security. The Pro Vice Chancellor of the University of Cape Coast, Professor Boahin, emphasized the significance of climate change during the workshop and advocated for immediate collaboration between the government and academia to address this pressing issue. The blue economy in Africa and Ghana is fraught with both challenges and opportunities. One of the most pressing threats of is overfishing, which depletes our fishing stocks, damages the marine ecosystem, and jeopardizes the livelihoods of countless coastal communities. Climate change and plastic pollution are exacerbating this problem with rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification causing immeasurable harm to the marine life. These threats are interconnected and require comprehensive action to mitigate. This highlights the recognition of climate change as a critical concern that requires a multifaceted approach involving both academic research and government policy. The policy interventions of digitalization and the distribution of premix fuel and denying licenses to foreign vessels are measures aimed at protecting coastal communities and their livelihoods in the context of fisheries and marine resource management. These policies can have a significant impact on the sustainability of fisheries and the well-being of coastal population. Latif, Latif Idris, Joe News, Accra.